Hello and welcome to Mock Duck Plays Games on Facebook and YouTube. I'm going to make a little bit of a different video today. I'm not ready to do any more 7800 game reviews until I spend a little bit more time with them, and I haven't had an opportunity to check out the DOSBox games yet. So uh, instead, I'm going to make a little how-to video because last week, at least towards the end of last week, Micro Center put the Atari VCS on clearance sale for 250 bucks. They're getting out of the retail business with Atari on the VCS, uh, just not selling enough on Micro Center. So they're, they discounted it to 250 until they're gone. Now, as of Sunday evening here, they're listed as gone for me. So good luck if you can still get one at 250 bucks, but Best Buy was price matching it. So I know there's a whole bunch of people who are going to be having new VCSs in the coming week. So I thought it would take a minute to go over how to use the classic controller here uh, on PC for two of the big things you're going to want to do with it. That would be Stella and Steam. So the main thing you're going to need to know is how to swap between Xbox 360 and Atari VCS mode. And you do that by holding these two bottom buttons down for about four seconds. And after about four seconds, the Fuji logo will flash. And then if you give it just another second, the middle will flash and then it'll swap modes. You can tell because the Fuji is on in the VCS mode and it is not in PC mode. Okay, so the main thing you're going to want to know in Steam is you want to go to big picture mode to have the best compatibility with the various joysticks. There are ways to do it without being in big picture mode, but I've not been able to get the classic working uh, outside of big picture mode, and I usually use something like, say, Input Mapper to use a DualShock if I'm not in big picture. One other quick thing to call out here is that you do want to make sure that you have the drivers for Xbox configuration support. Uh, that's important because the Xbox 360 controller is what the class controller is recognized when it is in Xbox 360 mode. All right, so as you can see, it's uh, just working to go back and forth. And let me pop into the Atari Vault here real quick. Okay, so now we're in Atari Vault on Steam here, and uh, you can see it'll work. The Xbox 360 controller as the classic. Uh, however, the twist functionality is not working because it is an Xbox 360 mode. Unfortunately, I have not been able to get the twist working with Atari Vault or any games um, on Steam. I hear it can be done, and I saw the immortal John Hancock on YouTube was somehow able to do it. I'd love to know how, so if you know how to get twist working on Steam, please do put it in the comments below, and I'll make sure to get the word out in a future video. But for now, all you can do is just use the regular joystick. Uh, so it's not very good for breakout. However, it does work just fine in Steam for any other kind of uh, Atari game you might want to play or something like Asteroids here, where it's just a uh, left, right, fire, and then I've got it mapped to up for thrust. You can actually remap the buttons uh, in Steam here for the Atari Vault as well. Okay, so in Stella, by default, it does support the Xbox 360 mode. So if you want to, you can just uh, play without the twist. However, as you notice, by default here in Xbox 360 mode, the twist isn't working. So what we're going to do is switch into VCS mode by holding down the bottom two buttons for about four seconds until the Fuji logo flashes. We'll give it a second to reboot. That's what that flashing is about. And now you will notice the paddle controller is working real good. And it works by default in any of the newer versions of Stella that you might have. So as long as you got a new version of Stella, the VCS Classic joystick, including Twist, should just work. And it does work uh, just as a regular joystick in VCS mode as well. All right, thanks very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Give me a like if you do like the video. It helps spread the word to others. Subscribe to get these videos in your feed. I'll have more how-to videos, including some PC mode stuff here in the coming weeks, along with some 7800 games, DOS box games, and anything else that gets released on the Atari VCS. Hope you're having fun. I'll talk to you again soon.